everyone, I'm Morton G here and welcome to another iRacing video. Well, it's week 13 and you know what that means, a new build has been released. With this one, we got a few new cars in series, one of which is the Formula IR 04, which we are in here in this video. This is based off the real world F4 car used mostly these days for those looking to get that Formula 1. Now the car itself will be utilized in a D license class open setup series that will run every odd hour at 45 past the hour. This will be opposite Formula Renault 2.0, which runs on the even hour at 45 past. The other two open wheel D series the Skip Barber and USF 2000 will continue to run every hour. With respect to these other cars, the F4 is more downforce driven than say that Skip E, which is more mechanical grip based. It seems to be pretty similar to the USF 2000, maybe with a bit more downforce, but I haven't driven that in a while, so I'm not 100% certain on that. Also note that the USF 2000 series being a road to Indy car includes oval racing, which is what really separates it from the F4 series. With regards to the FR 2.0, the IR04 is slightly less horsepower, but it isn't too dissimilar at top speed. In a real world, the Renault 2.0 has essentially been squeezed out of use due to the popularity of the F4 car. And the same with the FR 3.5 with regards to the F2 car, which we don't have yet in iRacing. So it slots in well if you're looking for a bit of structure and want to go the road of F1 route of F4 to F3, then to right now Formula Renault 3.5, then you can jump up to the Mercedes W12. I was actually planning to get back into open wheel racing this season with the FR 2.0, but after trying out and really enjoying the IR04, it looks like this series will be one of my focal points for the upcoming season. So here is a race that I did at Lime Rock Park, and I hope you enjoy. We have a strength of field of 1K. Again, this is unofficial week 13 race, so no incidents will count against our safety, thankfully. Thank God, because this is the fourth attempt at a video now where I've gotten taken out on turn one every single time. So <laughs> hang on to your butts. Of course, this is that Lime Rock Park, which is also on the schedule, the main schedule for the season. Track temperature 97 degrees. We right. qualified P13. I did. I had an off track on one of my, my fast, what would have been maybe my fastest 15 lap. 15 minutes. Anyway, let's get going. Get on with it. The track temp is 36. The air temp is 24 Celsius. Okay, Kenny, stay calm, focus. Let's go. On the left side, clear. Clear. Oh, that guy slowed down on me. Right side. Clear, clear, clear. On your right. Still there. Clear, clear, clear. This is the farthest we've made it, knocking wood, folks. Right side. Clear. On your right. All clear. All right, we have some uh, places to make up here. Let's get to it. Man, you really had to re-enter, didn't you? Couldn't wait. Yellow flag. Right side. Clear this black guy's gonna crash out for sure. The leader has just done a 51.6 P9 Your lap time was 54.8 Sector one is quick. Oh, 
reporter is now leading. On your left. Still there. Still there, still there. Left. I mean, yes. Clear, clear, clear. Eighth place. That lap was a 51.5. I need to practice that inside line. I haven't practiced it enough <laughs> or at all, really. And we just lost the rear end there. Oh man, we had the clean pass going in too. Thankfully, we did not take out anyone or get it damaged. B9. Get two tenths off the pace in sector three. Yellow flag, caution. The guy behind is really new in. The gap's now 1.1 seconds. I got right compromised side. my entry into that turn because of the right dude. Side. I lost two places. Clear. I want to lose that lap car. Don't panic. We'll get him back. You got ten minutes left. Ten minutes to go. Yeah, like I said, it got crashed out almost every turn one races I've done with this, so this is kind of fun. Learning how to drive the car in traffic now. The gap in front has increased to 1.1 seconds. Sector 2 is 1.5, off the pace. Close enough for a draft at all? A little bit. I'm finding if you turn too much in, that's when we get that oversteer, it kicks right in. So even though it's like has downforce the car, it's not, you know, what we're used to in GT3s and F3s and such. You're a tenth off the pace in sector one. Sector two is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Well, there he goes. That's the guy we needed okay. to go off. Thank you. Probably should have went down a second there. 
Taking it a few times in third and it's been better. You should a little bit better than that. It's went in a little too hot. Stay in third. P8. Okay, Kenny. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. A lot of smoke up ahead. I don't know what's going on. some back markers yellow flag ooh someone hit the pit wall time was 52.2 the gap ahead is now 4.6 seconds If I wait till shifting into that turn, plants the car down a little bit so we can not have to come off the throttle as much. The car in front is pitting. P7. We can get a little closer to get some racing going here. That time third worked. It's not really gain, gaining us any time though, but not losing either. That's five minutes to go, five minutes. What's up for y'all? That last lap was a 52.2. Oh, no. Oh, I came off. Uh, what did we do there? Did I, I came off the throttle, I think, too much? We lost the downforce. I think that's what it happened. If I, can I can't remember what inputs I was doing. Pretty sure that's what I did. The guy behind's catching. The gap's now 3.9. Catching up to six, too. Sector two is two ten. It's off the pace. <laughs> Yellow flag. It's dark in this corner. Jeez. Good. 
Sector 1 is. 0.8, off the pace. <laughs> Back marker car. Seventh position. Two minutes to go, two minutes. I can come a little bit more aggressively out of that last turn. lap time was at 52.3. Oh, I need a tear off button. <laughs> I could use a new visor tear off. I think the first time ever I think I've said that. <laughs> Sector 2 is 0.7 off the pace. Alright, it's that time, folks. Grab your volume knobs, and it's time to crank it up. Five minutes of fuel remaining. One more lap to go. Your lap time was at 51.8. Oh, ah, I knew I went up to a little weird. for position of that dude too right behind us shit white flag lap <laughs> you almost lost position the car ahead is Porter And there we go. P7. P7 finish. finish. Well done. From our uh, P13. Well, fine. All right. Well, thanks for watching this video, folks. If you like this content, please hit that like and subscribe. And in the meantime, up in the top right-hand corner, please go check out my next video. Much appreciated. And uh, we'll catch you on track.